my name is Gina and I'm actually one of the dolphin trainers here at Discovery Cove and I get the wonderful opportunity to work with these amazing animals every single day. Hi, I'm Katie. I work at Bush Gardens Tampa and I help take care of the rhinos. Hi, my name is Jen McGee and I'm a PhD student at the University of Florida in the College of Veterinary Medicine and I'm actually in the Aquatic Animal Health Program. Hi, I'm Nicole. I'm on the zoological team at Bush Gardens in Williamsburg. Adventure Camp as an opportunity to get to know what it's like to work with animals. Um, it's not all the fun you get to be on stage. It's actually a lot of work behind the scenes and involves a lot of animal training. Adventure Camp, you're behind the scenes at a zoo. You get to see zebra up close. You get to help bottle feed a giraffe. It's a totally different side of, of camp. I was actually in high school when I found out about Adventure Camp. Um, I actually, I found out about Adventure Camp from my parents. I found out about Adventure Camp when I was still in high school. My family took a trip to SeaWorld Orlando and I read about the education programs off the back of a park map. My dad was actually the one that showed it to me and he knew that I had always wanted to work with animals. And they showed it to me and were like, hey, does this look like something you want to do? And before they could even finish the sentence, I was like, yes, I'm there. <laughs> How many can I do? When can I do them? <laughs> I was Adventure Camp counselor here at Bush Gardens as a camp counselor, I was part grown-up camper and part teacher. At an adventure camp, you got a little bit of everything that everybody does at the park. The first time that I got close to an animal in adventure camp was probably with the dolphins. And it was really exciting because it was pretty much the first time a dolphin had ever come up and let me touch them. It was the SeaWorld San Antonio camp, and they told us that we were going to get in with the penguins, and this was great. Part of the job that we actually had to do was help shovel out the brand new snow for the morning, which was definitely very, very cold. But then on top of that, after doing all of that, we got the opportunity to bring in the food for the penguins, and we got to hang out with them for probably close to two hours, which was very cool. We had these kids working behind the scenes with the rhinos, with the lions, the tigers, the hyenas, and you could teach the kids about the animal while they stood four feet from the animal. You were waking up at 4.30 in the morning to help thaw out all the fish for all the different departments, so you were elbow deep all the way in fish. Um, but then you also got to go out and feed all the animals. I grew up in upstate New York, and it was really nice to come down here and work with such a variety of marine animals and see what was involved. This animal that they might have heard stories about or seen from a distance in another zoo, now they get to learn the personality of that individual lion, that individual rhino. A lot of the kids kept in touch with one another, and that's one of the great things. I still see some of them like on Instant Messenger and stuff that we talk to every once in a while. They would come back year after year together. The same group from all over the country would come to camp the same week and they really let those bonds grow. I hear stories when I come here and stuff about some of the other trainers and stuff that used to be campers. I actually ran into somebody that I went to a adventure camp with and she brought her album and we've been actually hanging out and just kind of reliving all of our memories as we've been looking through all of our photos that she had. We uh, did the camp together in San Antonio. I was still in high school and heading for college, and I wanted to get to know the trainers, get to know the job, and get to know SeaWorld. I saw the way the keepers and the trainers interacted with the animals, and the way the animals responded, and I knew that relationship is what would inspire me. I knew that relationship is what I wanted in my life. It really solidified my passion for working with animals, um, particularly um, with regards to SeaWorld and the marine mammals. I think that's why so many people from Adventure Camp, from campers, from counselors, stay is because they see what kind of organization this is. People here are here because they want to be. This is a choice to be here and that makes everyone just a little bit happier at their job. So it would be a great experience and a great opportunity to get your foot in the door at the parks. Going to Adventure Camp kind of sealed the deal for me. As soon as I saw everything that the trainers did, I knew that there were going to be some rough parts to it, some parts that were not so glamorous. It made me realize it's something I really, really wanted to do.